Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we are going to discuss about this Rapid Miner data science platform. It is an amazing platform which will actually help you to solve some of the amazing machine learning and deep learning use cases. Now before going ahead with respect to this particular video, uh, this video has been sponsored by Hyrect. And if you don't know about Hyrect guys, it is a chat first hiring platform where job seekers and recruiters can directly connect with each other without waiting for weeks to receive a response. It is just like a WhatsApp group for hiring. Uh, you can find jobs from the internet startups on Hyrect and talk with the decision makers directly. You can also do interviews in the app itself. It has features like video interviews and phone interviews. Apart from that guys, uh, there is also a job fest that they are conducting on 25th September and more than 50 plus companies will be coming together to hire and the theme of the event event is that is your career affected by covid if you really want to know more about hyrect uh, the youtube link and the instagram account of their company is actually given in the description of this particular video you can also download the app which is actually present in the play store again the link of the hyrect app is actually given in the description so let's go ahead and try to understand about rapid miner there are two main important concepts with respect to machine learning and deep learning that is your model optimization and a model retraining approach there is something called as drift modeling which is definitely possible with the help of rapid miner so today in this video i'm just going to go through a basic rapid miner go which is your explore ml in a fully automated and guided web interface so in this i'll just try to go into this and then we'll try to see how to actually perform that they also provide you rapid miner studio which you can download in your local environment and you can play with it and again this this all things will be using in the upcoming classes uh, you'll also be able to see guys this rapid miner go is completely for free you can also use a uh, five days free trial for rapid miner go um, and you can also subscribe it and probably for subscribing you'll be it'll be taking somewhere around ten dollars a month you also have something called as rapid miner studio which has somewhere around 30 days free trial of studio enterprise and you also have educational license program so what i've done is that i've also downloaded this okay and this probably we will be uh, able to work for a longer period of time and it will not ask you much money for that you know but we'll just try to go through this uh, because this is completely in the web itself okay so first of all you have to create an account on this so what i'm going to do i'm just going to click on try now so once I click on try now, you'll be able to see that login using your company identity. So when you click on login, it will ask you to put all your information like your username, password, uh, you know, email ID, name and everything you can actually put over there. Now you see how quickly you can actually do this. Okay, so I'm just going to create uh, what I did is that I just selected a build a new predictive model here. I'm just uploading the data. Just see, it is very, very simple and uploading the data from my data uh, e drive. Suppose I have this diabetes data set and this is the Pima diabetes data set guys. Now here you can see that you have all the, you have all the columns over here, right? It says that choose a column to predict, right? Over here, my outcome column is basically the prediction column. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to select my dependent feature that is outcome. Then it is asking me like this, okay? So it says that define cost and gains and cost. It says that you need to choose which value is important to predict correctly. Now this is, it is giving this option also. Now in the case of classification problem guys, one thing that you need to note that this is a diabetes data set, right? And it is not possible that every person will have at least a diabetes data set. Now here you can see that 500 are not having diabetes and somewhere around 250 are having diabetes. So this is a kind of, I'll say partially imbalanced class. So what I'll do is that which value is more important to predict correctly. Definitely I know that it, I have to choose diabetes. The classification importance should be given to that particular diabetes data set only, which is actually indicated by one, right? Do you want to turn your regression problem into a classification? You can check this button then automatically this regression problem will be actually converted into a, a classification problem. And one more thing you noted over here guys is that, you know, when you are doing this, this has got automatically selected, you know, just by seeing this particular data set. And there is also an option which is called as define gains and cost. Here you can see actual, actually predicted, predicted. This is just like a confusion matrix uh, that is actually set over here. You can define gains per, or cost for correct or wrong predictions below. So I'll just cancel this and I'll let it be like this. Now I'll click on the next. Over here, what it does is that in the next step is that, it, it basically shows you that which all data are having poor quality, right? Or questionable quali quality. Suppose it is having some confusion with respect to one column. So it will ask you a question that can we convert this into category feature? Or do you want to convert this into category feature? So you can actually check and uncheck with respect to this. 
you know and then you can basically uh, you know suppose in this by default you have not found out any any columns right so in this case you can actually uncheck and check and based on that you can play with this but right now i'm just going to keep it like this guys but as we go ahead we will be doing some extreme things with the bigger data set itself now i'll go and click on next now here you see this guys it shows uh, machine learning al algorithms uh, it is going to do column analysis like importance of column which all columns or features are important explain uh, the predictions uh, data preparation it says remove columns with too many values so this kind of conditions they have actually put so if the if the values has uh, if a feature has more than 50 values probably it will remove that particular feature you can see that we can also click on quick prototyping high accuracy right longer time running with bigger selection of models something like this right so let let us focus on high accuracy and it is also uh, defining some different different values i'll go with easy interpretable so that you know some decision trees and simple linear models can be applied if i click on show advanced settings then also you can actually select which all model you actually want suppose i go with deep learning i want deep learning model so obviously i know decision tree random forest will perform better than decision tree or uh, gradient boosting trees will also perform i'm going to check support vector machines also let me just remove this uh, and generalize model also i don't want i just want deep learning models and random forest gradient boosting and support vector machine now once i do this and click on run analysis probably this will take some time you'll be able to see amazing graphs will get created and with respect to this all your classification error your accuracy all these values will get automatically displayed and definitely it will take some amount of time since this is happening in the web itself in their cloud so probably some amount of time will actually be taken with respect to this so let's see how much time it may take uh okay deep learning it's it gives an accuracy of 74.9 but still we can do a lot of hyperparameter tuning i think we saw an option over there of doing hyperparameter tuning let's see okay and uh, this is with respect to the weights you can see the weights of the column which columns are very very important so glucose it is having somewhere around 46 percent of correlation bmi 29 percent of correlation age 23 percent of correlation pregnancy this 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 is that so let's see so probably the second deep learning got model got trained quickly you know i don't know how many epochs it has been used uh gradient boosting is also given um obviously we know gradient boosting random forest classify will be working properly right so yes this is running and it'll take some time definitely so this took somewhere around 12 seconds uh this took somewhere around 29 seconds i think it is the cumulative total i guess or uh, i don't know like total time because one by one it will be doing random forest somewhere around 72 percent and this over here right then we can also inspect the resu results i'll show you how to inspect the results from this you know these are the deep learning models uh, random forest learning. if i take uh, deep learning so here you can see that the model has got 74.89 of overall prediction right out of all the models outcome 1.00 prediction 69.23 are actually outcome 1.00 remaining 48 percent so identified correctly by the model and you can also see the performance metrics precision recall confusion matrix right uh gains and cost right and with respect to this you can see the view gains and cost you can also increase or change the value column weights roc roc curve is also there and this looks like an amazing graph right deep learning model visualization you can see over here oh this is the model visualization amazing and again i really want to explore this particular platform and see what all kind of values gives but if you do some manual uh if you do the training manually probably you'll be able to get uh, better accuracy i guess but again as we said that uh, we have this amazing thing over here uh let's see oh, i think it got over okay 72 support vector machine got 64 so i can either select deep learning or gradient boosting algorithm to do it uh let me just go and see random forest in random forest you have all these values okay yeah gains and cost this roc curve oh trees have been also been constructed guys see this this is the tree one by default i think there will be 100 trees that will be selected oh in this okay that has also performed some hyperparameter tuning right they are more than 140 trees now with respect to different different trees you know this this whole tree graph will be changing so this this is an amazing thing right like this kind of in the web that also in such a quick manner it is actually happening just try to explore it guys it looks amazing you know uh, ROC curve is also there, right? Uh, let me see whether I could find out anything with deep learning or it was just like that. Okay, this is just like that. Uh, if I see about gradient boosting, let's see. 
about gradient boosting also there are trees and how, how many trees are there let's see uh they are more than they are 90 trees okay this is also used as a hyperparameter again this is basically giving you how the trees have been divided and gradient boosting and extreme gradient boosting sorry a uh, random forest and extreme gradient boosting those are like bagging and boosting problem statements and i hope you know how it works if not you can check my videos uh with respect to that okay let's see support vector machines yes it gives you uh, the model did not predict any outcome 1.0. So this is obviously giving us a very, very bad accuracy. I'll definitely not use this. And probably you are getting all the other remaining information. But finally, you can see that how amazing it actually did it, right? So what I'm going to do is that as we go ahead, please do let me know, do you want me to make with respect to Rapid Miner Studio? The most interesting thing that I found out in this is that the model optimization and the retraining approach is pretty much awesome. I'm definitely going to make videos on that. But I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do check it out, guys. This is pretty much amazing. Okay. Anyhow, you'll be getting this five to one week time. You, you can check it out with this offline version. Again, if you really want to again, check it again and again, change your email ID and create a new account. I hope you like this particular video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you. One and all. Bye-bye.